What's up, YouTube? Woo! Will from Bag Riders here. Today I'm gonna to school you on some super important bearing tech. Long story short, there's one key piece of hardware that some brands are including and some aren't to save cost. If you want a system that's gonna really hold up to the abuse of daily driving, then this is what you need to know. However, up front, this video applies to vehicles that use McPherson front strut design, like any of these. Do some research before making your next purchase. And if you're having a hard time figuring it out, if your vehicle uses a double A arm or McPherson style, feel free to reach out to the Bag Rider sales team for assistance. In simple engineering speak, there are two loads put upon your strut. You've got your radial load, which is perpendicular to the shaft of the strut. And then you've got your axial load, which is gonna be parallel to the shaft on the strut. Think of it like this. The axial load is the force that pushes your strut up and down. Whereas the radial load is gonna be the force put upon your strut when you turn your steering wheel to go around a corner. In the case of this airlift performance front strut, there's a radial bearing that they've utilized up near the top. And it's here to improve steering feel but even more importantly, it's actually there to protect and increase the longevity of this other bearing. So right up at the top here, you might recognize it. That's what a lot of you call a pillow ball, which isn't the proper name for this sort of bearing. It's actually what we would call a spherical bearing. Pretty much any McPherson strut is gonna use a spherical bearing or something else like it up at the top, regardless of their price point. That's a very important element of the suspension because it allows the strut to articulate while the strut goes up and down. And that's one aspect of the strut and suspension's motion that's critical. Some brands, and this applies to both low cost air ride and lower end coilovers, choose not to include that radial bearing even on their McPherson front struts. So what those companies are doing is they're having the spherical bearing take on the job of both bearings. And it's not meant to do all that work. The best struts choose to add that radial bearing. So now you've got two different bearings handling those two different loads. And that ensures that that front suspension lasts a good long time. If you're stuck deciding between two different brands of air ride, one that has a radial bearing and one that doesn't, you should stop and think about the actual goals of your build. If this is a vehicle that you're planning to daily drive, the one with the radial bearing is gonna make the most sense in most every case. It may cost a little more upfront, but you're gonna get way more longevity out of that strut and that's gonna keep your car on the road and stop you from replacing parts unnecessarily. Like I said earlier, this video really only applies to McPherson style front struts. There's both McPherson out there and then there's what we call double A arm, double wishbone. And we will make another video explaining why this applies to McPherson and why those other suspension geometries are a totally different beast. If I can do anything to help you out, please drop a comment below. We will get back to you. And I urge you to email sales at bagriders.com during your air ride shopping experience to get any help you may need to answer any of these complex questions. We're here to help. Peace.